Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Cricut recently released something that they're calling cutaway cards and they released them for the Cricut Joy but if you've been around here any time at all you know that I like to push things to the limit. So I'm here to show you how to use cutaway cards on your Cricut Joy, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore, Explore 3, Maker 3, any machine that you might have. What are cutaway cards? If you're familiar with the insert cards that they released for the Joy, cutaway cards are similar, but in my opinion, even better. So they take it to a whole new level and make it even easier to make cards with your Cricut machine. I am in love with this product and this video is not sponsored. They didn't send me anything. I bought the cards with my own money and I absolutely love them. It will be the way I make cards from now on, hands down. So first we're gonna take a look at the cards themselves, what comes in the package and how they work. Then we're gonna use them with the Joy. And I'm gonna use my Maker 3 today. Again, any Cricut machine will work with these same steps. I'm gonna make a huge wide variety of cards. I'm gonna show you how to make cards they already have in Design Space, as well as design your own cards right in the Design Space application. So here we go, let's take a look at cutaway cards. These are the Cricut cutaway cards. You do wanna look for boxes that say cutaway cards. And in the boxes you get eight cards along with eight backers and eight envelopes. They do come in different color packs. On the back you can see which are the cards and which are the backers, just so you know which colors are which. So in this case I have white envelopes, three different colors of cards, and these gold backers. Now let's take a look at how to use these. On the inside of each card you'll find an adhesive layer and then you will need your backer sheet. So we'll just peel back the backing sheet off of the adhesive layer on the inside of the card. This leaves a layer of adhesive on your card and you can probably see it there. And then you'll just put the backer with the good side down on the adhesive, making sure that you don't go over the fold line in the card. Once your backer piece is in place, we'll just press it down well. And now your card is ready to cut. For this first batch of cards, I'm using the Cricut Joy with the Cricut Joy card mat. So you wanna re remove the protective piece from the card mat. And then the back of the card, so the piece without the backer, goes inside the card mat. So you should be able to pull it apart, stick the card inside, push the card all the way up, and make sure the fold line is all the way over. Then shut the card onto the card mat and stick it down really, really well. So the backer should be stuck against the card mat with the card front on the top. Now let's cut our card. Let's take a look first at projects that are already in Cricut Design Space. So if I click projects and I have my joy chosen as my machine up here in the corner, I can search for cut away, all one word, and I'll get a variety of cards that are already made in Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna pick this thanks card. You can either at this point click make it or customize. I'm gonna click customize so we can take a look at it on the canvas. And you can see that this card has some cut lines, which is the thanks portion, and pin lines, which is the floral. That's all there is to it. And this is all you need to make a cutaway card. There is no need to resize as they are the right size in Cricut Design Space when you pick the correct projects. Want even more options? Then click images. So the first thing we went to is projects. If we go to images and type cutaway, we'll get even more cutaway card designs. So some really fun card ideas, all with the cutaway card option. So let's go back up here and let's pick a Mother's Day card and add to canvas. Now you see both of our card designs. We'll go ahead and make two cards with this option. We will take a look later in this video at designing our own cards, however. If I click make it at this point, for the Cricut Joy, I am gonna make these on the card mat, so I will pick on card mat and click continue. Now you can see that Design Space locates the cards according to where they need to be to make them in Cricut Design Space. So the first card where we picked from project, Design Space puts it on a 4.25 by 5.5 inch size card, 
which is the right for the cutaway cards. For the option we picked from images, it does not locate it correctly for our card. So I'm gonna pick 4.25 by 5.5 because that's the size of the cutaway cards. And now Design Space knows that's the size we're using. It locates it correctly. So always be sure that this material size matches your card size before clicking continue. Now that we have both cards ready, we'll go ahead and click continue. So you will pick cutaway card as your material setting. The first thing the Cricut Joy is gonna do is draw on this particular card. And I'm gonna use this metallic blue pen, put that into the clamp and close it. Then I'm gonna load the card. Then just press go right in the Cricut app. Once it's done with the pen portion, we're gonna remove the pen, add the blade to the machine, close the clamp, and click go in the app. Once that's done, we'll just click OK in the app to unload. Now let's take a look at finishing this card. I do find it easiest to remove it from this mat to weed away your cut lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this up and remove it from the mat itself. Then you'll need to remove the cut pieces that you just cut, but it only cut through this top layer. It did not cut through that backer. You can use weeding tools for this. So if you can get them up without damaging them, so you can see it looks really good on my card, but I also have a little letter sticker. So I could make another card with these stickers if I wanted to. So yes, they are stickers at this point. So you can do it either way and it might not work every time, but it is a great way to reuse your scraps. So let me continue and weed the rest of these away. So here's that card, completely weeded and done. Now I'm gonna cut and weed the other card that I added to my canvas and design space and take a look at that one as well. Here's another card made with the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Joy card mat. You can see this has some smaller details and it turned out amazing. I am loving these cutaway cards. Now let's take a look at designing a card from scratch. If you'll pick projects, have Joy chosen as your machine, and type cutaway, you'll find a project that is a cutaway card design setup. Click that and click customize. This gives you the size that you want for your design. So instead of trying to find the size yourself, it's easy to just pop this into design space. You'll delete this layer before you even click make it. However, this does give you the size. So you do wanna stay within this dotted line with your design. What kind of design can you put on the front? You can put anything you would like. You can put fonts, you could put images, anything you would like to make a card. So we could add text. So there's some text and I'm using the font BFC Blueberry Pancake. You could also add images and or shapes. Just search for whatever you would like to add. So I added a floral design as well as some text. I could also add some pin designs if I would like to, but I'm just gonna make this one a cut design. So I am making this as a vertical card. If you wanted to make this as a horizontal card, you could rotate this 90 degrees and design it the other way if you would like. For now, I'm just gonna delete this off because I have everything the way I want it and in location. Now I'm just gonna pick everything and click attach. Now I have Joy picked and I'm ready to click make it. Again, I'm gonna pick on a card mat and click continue. And you will, once again, wanna make sure that your material size is 4.25 by 5.5 inches and that the card looks in the center of that material. It does, so I'll click continue and head to my joy and cut this card. So peel back that adhesive, add the backer, good side down, approximately in the center of this, making sure not to go over the score fold line. Add it to the Cricut Joy card mat, all the way up, all the way over. Press it down really well on the front and we'll add this to the joy and make our cuts. 
Again, I'm using the cutaway card setting and I'm just gonna load the card into the joy. This one doesn't have any writing, however, so I don't need to add the pen. I'll just click go in the app to cut my design from the card. Once it's done cutting, I'll press OK in the app to unload the mat. Then we'll remove the card from the mat and start weeding away all of these pieces from the card itself. Remember, you want to leave the backer and just peel apart the sticky portion. Now, as you can see, this H broke in half. I was talking about possibly using some of these scraps earlier in this video. For these thinner pieces and smaller pieces, you won't be able to do that. The larger pieces you might be able to. So I was peeling from this side and some of this backer sheet is coming up. So all you do, flip it over, peel from the opposite side. I found that peeling from the opposite side works every single time. So it might cut into the backer sheet in a few places, but generally it doesn't very often. So you can just peel from another location. So that's peeling up a little bit. So I'll just peel from over here and everything is fine. And for those small pieces, you just wanna go slowly around that area. But I found that everything removes great. I am interested to see how this turns out. So we'll take a look at this one as soon as I'm done weeding away the pieces. And here's the card that I designed in Design Space. I intentionally had some really small, small details on this one and some of those got messed up. So you might wanna stay away from the super small details, but overall I'm super impressed with cutaway cards. Let's talk about how to do these cards on an Explorer or a Maker. So you can choose any machine up here that you have. So if you have the Maker 3, Explorer 3, any of the Explorer family or the original Maker, just pick the machine you wanna use. I'm gonna use my Maker 3 today. And then the same way we talked about finding these cutaway cards for the Joy, you just find them for your Maker or Explorer. So I just searched cutaway and I picked my card. It pops it onto your canvas. No need to resize or do anything to it. And we'll click make it. You will wanna pick on a mat and click continue. Now for the Maker 3, I don't have a card mat. So what I'm gonna do is put this on a blue mat. And in order to locate it correctly, what I'm gonna to need to do is flip it first of all. So flip it all the way around. And then we wanna center it on the card itself. So you will wanna look at where the card is on your mat. So where I found it to be about center, was about in this location for my machine. However, you might have to play with this location a little bit for your particular machine. Be sure to put the card all the way in the corner of the mat. And when you're loading it into your Cricut machine, be sure to push the mat all the way to the left when loading. That way it's in the right location all the time. So I'm gonna locate this approximately and then I would repeat for as many cards as I have. So for this one, I would rotate it and locate it where I found to be center on my machine, which was about there. And then I'm gonna click continue. For the Maker 3, you will not have a cutaway card setting. So if I click browse all materials and put cutaway, there won't be anything there. So what we're gonna do is pick a medium cardstock setting. I found that this works fine with the cutaway cards in my experiments. If you find this is cutting too deep or not deep enough, you could try this pressure or a different setting for your cards. Now let's take a look at putting the card on the mat and loading it into the machine. I did find that a blue light grip mat worked best. We are gonna prep the card in the same way. So open it, peel back the liner covering the adhesive, then add the backer piece face down onto that adhesive. And now we'll need to add it to the light grip mat for the maker. So to do this, I'm gonna take the side that has the backer and put it in the upper corner of my mat. So the backer side, backer down, goes into this corner, making sure that it's straight and on the lines of the mat. And I was talking about how to find the center of the card. You will wanna look at this fold line. It's on about four and a quarter and five and a half. So you could approximate the center of your card 
with those measurements and locate that center in design space accordingly. You may have to play with it a little bit, particular to your machine, but it definitely does work. And this is why we flipped the design upside down. Now it will cut upside down and our card will be correct once it's done. So now let's load this into our maker and cut a card. I've added a pin to clamp A. My fine point blade is in clamp B. Once the machine's done cutting, we'll just unload it. Once the cut's complete, we want to remove the card from the mat. And then in the same way as we did with the other cards, you'll just want to weed away all the pieces. So you should be able to just pull them back with your hands. For small pieces, again, I like to use a weeding tool, but for the most part, I just use my hands to peel away all the pieces. But I'll continue weeding this and then we'll take a look at the cards I made with my Maker 3. And here's that card I made on my Maker 3. And as you can see, it looks amazing. I went ahead and made a second card on the Maker 3 with another design. Again, it turned out awesome. I'm really loving the cutaway cards. So hopefully you found that useful. I know that I will be using cutaway cards from now on. So to me, it makes the process even simpler. So with insert cards, you had the cuts in the four corners and those could get off sometimes. And then the entire card would look just a little bit off in a way. I do think you might have to fine tune the location with your Maker or Explorer a little bit. The Cricut Joy, I found the location spot on. But with these cards, even if the location is a little bit off, the card is still fine. With the insert cards, even a little bit off made it just look way off. Or if it was just more than a little bit off, the slits would be off of the card and it wasn't even usable. With these, if you get it a little bit off, it really does not matter at all, depending on the design. So the only thing I would suggest for the joy, always remember to make sure that the card size is the size of card you're using. I messed a few up like that. For the Maker or the Explore, play around with the location a little bit, be prepared to waste a few cards, but I think once you figure out how to get the location, find the location with your design, I think you will be very happy with the results. So I hope that helped you. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about cutaway cards, how to use them, Cricut machine questions in general, ask those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.